I was going through stuff and, you know, digging through my crap. I saw a watch and I was like, you yeah, know, I should talk about that. Oh, 04971. Oh four nine nine seven one. So there are a few iterations of this. This is this is the early one. Early enough look that it has a two part sweep. Yeah, these early ones they had a two part sweep, and they also had. Um, they had short hands. It was like this, it was such a, an early thing that they did. But you know, this is not the JDM version. Note that it has Roman English. That's the original loom. There's no wax on the hands from a hard reset. That's just faded. The haze on the crystal is just, it's the volatile elements and some other stuff that outgassed and then condensed on the underside of the dial. Like with corrosion, not corrosion with them, um, fog. It uh, watch is definitely faded a bit. It's it's hard to get these anodized rings to fade like that. That takes that takes effort. Case is definitely a little worn, but even beat it to death. But what's neat is you actually don't see this bracelet very often. This is the solid stainless Stellux President. That, by the way, there you go. That's a Stellux clasp. It looks different than the Sika one, which looks like see, there's the standard Sika one right there. See, it's got the little ears, and the little ears go and they go clip, smunk like that. These Stellux, the clasp is right here. And it snaps onto that thing right there. See, so it's got that little pointy lip diddly. You don't see too many of these. There we are. With this bracelet. They used to be more common, but, you know, honestly, I see more of the JDM reverse middle link ones than I do... More than I do these these big solid presidents. And this is the bracelet they chose. It has the because it's thinner, it kind of actually has the effect of making the watch head look bigger. Like to contrast. These watches, well, do they? Actually, they're not far off from each other. They really aren't. So let's just pretend. So you see, let's pretend it's the same size and having this taper bracelet with a little more heft makes the, the watch itself feel a little smaller. This is, that's really, really accentuating that. Do I have, do I have, eh, maybe. So here is the slide rule. And it has this other kind of bracelet, the solid stainless oval, like this extremely comfortable, this fishbone. But it also, it's, I think it balances off the size of the, of the watch case very well. But it's so, it's interesting. You just don't see these that often. I never restored this. I haven't. There's a number of watches I have that I just, I haven't restored. I'm like, well... How many of these do they have they made? How many of these are in this condition with all this documentation? I got a good whap on there. What happened? See that big old flat spot? What's that about? Hmm. I don't know. That's interesting. Anyways, it's a nice old watch. are so sticky. It's the one nice thing about these pistons, these piston buttons, you can pull them out. Uh, that one appears to be very stuck. Come on. Did I get it? I don't think 
so I'm on. I might have gotten it. I'm not going to fiddle with it. The thing's unrestored. In any case, isn't that neat? These need more love. These Yachtmen, which was not a Seiko name, by the way. Some magazine advert made that up, along with uh, an ad that showed also one of these. All your diving and yachting needs. Oh, actually, that's a good sign. This is another one, talking about the size and scale. So you got this bracelet, this skinny, heavy bracelet with this big old watch head. And you have this, which is actually, I think, slightly larger, but the same kind of semi-elliptic, like super ellipse or whatever this is called. And it kind of takes down the, the, the relative size of the watch. You know, it's like a tiny, it's like a huge car with tiny wheels. I don't know, they're both pretty cool. I don't know. You tell me. You tell me what you think. I have the original Seiko Guarantee Certificate. I think it's filled out for this watch. World News Cow. Mirador Mansion, Kowloon, Hong Kong. 17 March, 1971. Would to have like a stamp, like a Rolex style notarization stamp or something? I don't see what it says, but I think it's even serial numbered. What else we got in here? Automatic chronograph card. There you go. Look at that. That's a Doc Chrono. That's a regular 61. 39, 61, whatever, 60, 10, 60, 12, 60, 15. I'm sorry, that's a Duck Chrono. Is that supposed to be a 6139? For real? Don't I have a 6139 around here somewhere? Yes, I do. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it's supposed to be a 6139. Isn't that neat? Model 2 tacky meter, pulse meter. It's got a rotating ring to preserve waterproof. See, do not operate the crown while the watch is wet or underwater. There you go. Well, we got that. Guarantee certificate. Look at all, all the service centers they had. I mean, I skipped over a bunch. Lebanon, Malaysia, Okinawa, of course, Singapore, Taiwan, Thailand, Mexico, United States of America, we got Honolulu, Fifth Avenue, New York. They weren't even in New Jersey. They were in flat out. They were at Fifth Avenue. That's crazy. Gardena, California. I don't know. I've never been there. South America. Europe. Wow, Denmark graded. Finland, Finland, really? In the 70s, well, I guess they had their independence, right? Italy, Norway, Spain, Barcelona, Sweden, Kenya, Ro well, Rhodesia, yikes, you mean Zimbabwe, South Africa, Max Frank Limited, Johannesburg. Tassilo Burger. It sounds like something, that, a, a drive-in restaurant down like Arizona or something. East Africa Provision Mart. Nehru Road, Mombasa. Hm. I've never been there. Yeah, are we filled out? 17 March, 1971. Neat. Neat 
serial number, G6138-00106.